Hi everyone, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm going to be showing how to use a little bookmarklet script for your Google Chrome that allows you to send a, the current web page to your email. This is very useful for keeping track of things to do or taking quick notes and having everything end up in one email box. So how do you do it? So go to this GitHub page, the jeff604 slash webpage to email and open up bookmarklet.txt and we have two different versions of the bookmarklet. One of them is used that automatically closes the window uh, that pops up and one of them keeps the window open. So if you are using a web-based email client such as Gmail, you want to use the one that keeps the window open. But if you're using like a desktop application for your email, um, that such as Outlook on your desktop or Microsoft Mail or other desktop applications, you want to use the version that auto closes the window. So choose the one that's best for you. So let's say I want I am a Gmail user, so I want to use the one that keeps the window open. So I'll go to line number 19 and I'll select this whole line all the way to the end. Copy that line and go to a text editor such as Notepad and I'll paste that bookmark in. And to make it easier to read, you can turn on Word Wrap. So the instructions basically are here. If we go back to this um, GitHub page, before using, replace your email at gmail.com with your Gmail address, which is optional, and replace your email to at Gmail address with the address you want to send the email to. The purpose of the first one, the your email at gmail.com, is if you are sending a link from your Gmail, I typically want to remove my email address from the subject line of the email because it's not really relevant. So this, um, the first email just removes that email from your subject line if it's in the subject line. The second email, the your email to, is the one that it's going to send the email to when you send the message. So uh, I'm going to change my email. My email is uh, jeff.peters at gmail.com. And because I also use Gmail as the primary email to receive my messages, I'm also going to replace your email to at gmail.com with my Gmail address. But if you want to have the email sent to a different address, or let's say uh, G Jeff Peters uh, plus to do, or something like that, to make the email more specific, you can also do that. So I will save, uh, I don't actually have to save it. I can just, once I look at this, this is, looks okay. And then I will go turn off WordWrap. Select to go Control A, copy, Control C to copy. Go to my Chrome, make sure you have under bookmarks, show bookmarks bar is enabled. And then right click here and go add page. And then under the name, you want to call it something like um, send to email. And then the URL, this is where you want to paste in the JavaScript code that you copied from your text file. So as you see here, this starts with JavaScript, it has the code, so now this URL also contains the JavaScript, it has that code there. Click Save. So now I have a new um, email, or bookmark appears here in my bookmark bar. I can go to any web page, such as this one, and click Send to Email. It opens up uh, a mail to page, but Let's see if that's... You can see it didn't work because that's because my Gmail is not registered as the email handler. So let's go to my Gmail and I will click up here. This page wants to install a service handler. So I'll click that, click allow, click done. Okay, now I'll go back to here and click send to email. And now email, Gmail pops up. I can actually send the current page to my email. And you can see that uh, the title of the email is actually the title of this web page. And then I also have the title here in the email body and it has a link to the web page. So I can click send and it sends that page to my email. So if we go back to my email, you can see now I have received an email with this link. So let's say I, I want to go to some other web page, like say google.com, or maybe 
I know a really good page called Jeff Mobile, which is a video blog that I made. So let's say you find a really nice page on Jeff Mobile, say this carousel video, and you want to send that to yourself. So you can click send to email. It creates an email that you can send, and it goes from your regular email into the special email box. So this is a really handy way to send emails to yourself from any web page. One more thing I want to show you is, let's say um, I have this email and I want to refer back to it later. So I'll click send to email. It provides a link to Gmail um, for this email. I can send that to myself. And then I go to my inbox. I've got a bunch of emails here. The carousel that I sent to myself, which has the link. And my email box as well is here. So I can click here and it will actually open up the other email. So this is a quick tutorial. If you're using Outlook, you may want to go into your message settings. So uh, email in Windows, if you go to email, uh, you choose a default email app. You want to make sure that email under choose default app is set to Google Chrome if you're using Google Chrome for this. Or if you want to use a different application such as Outlook, to send the email, then choose it here under default apps. Um, so basically you search for uh, default email or app. Choose a diff default email app and that gets you to this page. So as I said before, there are two versions of the script. There are the one that auto closes the window, which you want to use if you're using like a desktop version of Outlook or other email client. Or if you're using Chrome to send email through Gmail, you can use the second one that keeps the window open. So that's all I wanted to tell you about my email bookmarklet, and I hope you find this useful. I definitely find this is essential when I'm working at work. I have many pages open, and I want to send the current page to my email so I can process it later. Some email clients also let you add things directly to your to-do list from email. So if I'm in, out in Gmail, I can click Tasks, and I can add uh, the task there as well. So I can drag this email into that task. Outlook has a similar feature with the Add Task feature that integrates with Microsoft To Do. Great, thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon. For more videos like this, please click the subscribe button below and please, if you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll be happy to respond. Thanks again and hope you have a great day.